Now, how many of you have gone into a sports shop to be surrounded by high-tech running shoes that promise the earth? Well, no more. A new craze is sweeping through the world of running, going barefoot or at least a lot closer to it. I've been checking it out in Sheffield. Feet. We put lots of different things on them. And when it comes to running, it's a multi-million pound business. Here in Sheffield, though, they're trying to make us think differently. Less is apparently more. The difference is that all the engineering that we find in modern running shoes has been completely stripped out. And the other big difference is, is the, the heel height is also greatly reduced. This is being driven by people that actually believe that natural's better um, and that we shouldn't have all this support and we shouldn't have all this guidance within a shoe. And uh, we've even now got people going completely barefoot. And that's the extreme of it. Jerry Ibbotson is one of those. He thinks nothing of running barefoot through Sheffield. I started running barefoot just over a year ago. And from the moment I started, just felt a real connection with running the naturalness of... Doesn't it hurt on this? No, not at all. It takes a little bit of time to get your, use, your feet used to the feeling, literally the feeling of standing on things other than the soles of shoes. I wasn't entirely sold, if you'll excuse the pun, but it was time to get my running style analysed in my normal running shoes. The shoe is probably too supportive for your foot type and the way you're running. It's making fairly heavy heel contact uh, and holding you too far on the outside of your foot. If the weight comes onto the outside of the foot into the push-off phase and the weight's staying over there, so that's going to create the tension through the knee and up into the hip. So to the minimalist trainers, the difference was clear. Uh, the main difference we're actually hearing is much quieter contact position. Now contacting on the midfoot and forefoot, and when we do the video recording, I think we'll find the push-off position is much more stable. Armed with my new shoes, it was time for action. So why aren't you barefoot then? I must admit, I still actually worry about um, the old bramble bush. And uh, I think for me, it's just a step too far. But you're staying with no shoes? Staying with no shoes all the way. Do people get quite evangelical about this? Yep, there is the um, hats of barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I think I'll stick to shoes. Oh, what if you just sort of chill on a slug or something worse? <laughs> I have to say, I didn't, but the train is it, very interesting. It's it, quite difficult because I didn't run very far in them to say exactly what the ones I was like. But if I do really well in those, I graduate to these. Yeah. Um, the, they've weird. got individual little toes, if you say. I tried putting them on in the car, <laughs> and it took me about five minutes to get the toes into the right little places. Like, there you are. Oh, yeah, just my size. Not, yeah. not your size. But they are really, really strange. So how um, much would a pair of these set you? I, I, I don't know. I, I haven't asked. They're going back uh, after I've finished. But it, very interesting, very different feeling about the running. So I, I walk around again. the office with nothing. Yeah, in my it's feet, a fashion so. accessory. This isn't it for my summer holidays. I might have a go at that. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tony. A pleasure.